In today's episode, we are drawing something rather fiery. Yeah. In fact, it is! Ah, get them on, get them on, get them on! A fiery flamingo! A fiery flamingo! It looks like this. It is fiery. Yeah. I'm so excited, guys. A fiery flamingo. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're going to be doing a fiery flamingo. Woo! It's going to be flaming. Whoa, I'm kicking my recycling bin. Got it, okay, done. Here we go, move on, next. Fiery flamingo. Curving line for the head. Okay, from there we're gonna draw a straight line out. Down. And remember, anytime I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. Okay. Bring it back up. And back in and we'll connect for the top part of that beak. I'm gonna smooth my tip out here, got kinda, kinda wide. All right, and then back in and add another line along the bottom here for the lower beak. And then we're just gonna color in part of it because they kinda have like a black tip on their beak, just like that. And I always like to give, make sure I give a nostril so that they can like breathe. It's a nice, a nice thing to do. Okay. We're gonna draw a line out and around in the front here. And I'm gonna bring this back line down, just like that. Okay. We're gonna make this fiery, so we're gonna add a wing, the first part of the wing, but it's gonna turn to flames after because it's fiery. So I added just a like, nice little like puffiness. Now we're gonna do flames. So I'm gonna do curve around and up. We're gonna do like S shapes and then curve around and up. Bring it back down. Add a U and curve it up. Bring it back down, go narrow again. Whoosh, back up. Okay, bring it back down, curve in, up. So I'm basically doing like lots of S's and U's in here. Okay, bring it back down nice and narrow, then curve it back up. And then bring it back down and connect. Now it's flaming! It's fiery! Yeah. Okay, we'll connect a little back peeking out over here. And then we'll add a tail. Doo -doo -doo. Just peeking out in behind those flames because it's so awesome. And then the other legs kind of go in. One goes back, doesn't it? I'm guessing down. We'll just have one leg going straight down off the page here. Okay, but it's fiery, so we gotta give it, we'll do a big eye, and then we're gonna do in the pupil. So we're gonna draw the pupil first. I'm doing it nice and big so I can draw it in my pupil. We're gonna do those flames again, so find something small to draw with. And then add some flames in its eye. <laughs> And if you have anywhere else, you can draw a circle, add a little circle for the glare of light, and then you can color in the dark of the eye, leaving the flames. <laughs> I was just picturing seeing this in the wild. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'd be so scared if it was like a fiery flamingo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It happens, right? You know when you get the giggles and you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I think that sometimes I'm the only one who finds myself funny. It's okay if that happens to you too. The only, the only thing that matters is that we're having fun, right? As long as you're having fun, who cares? It's better to be different than be the same. Better to be different. Always remember that. It's better to be different than be the same. 
It's a philosophy for life right there. Okay, I add some lines and texture around the body because it makes it look extra detailed, right? All, all they are is lines, but look how detailed it looks. And then also you can add that on the flames if you want. If you want to add a little extra something something. So cool, right? Now, if you want to make this extra flamey, you can do a choice of adding, if you want to practice your flames, you can add some more around Flamingo. If you want to add like a second layer of flames, you may do that. It's really up to you and how much you like drawing flames. Now, if you want to get them even more crazy, you can add like a second layer in there, peeking out. I don't really have room for that, but you can always have like the first part yellow and the rest of it sort of orange. If you want to do a two-tone, you sure can. And once you're done drawing your fl fiery flamingo, you can grab whatever you would like to color with and color in your design. And once you're done, your fiery flamingo is done.